Alright, we are leaving Berlin. Um, we've got a really late flight today. Our flight doesn't leave until what, like 2.40 or something like that? 2.20? So, um, we paid for late checkout and then we're gonna go down and get some breakfast. Um, and we were a little concerned about getting back to the airport because we actually flew in to Schoenfeld yeah. Airport and we leave out of Texel Airport. So it's a completely different airport. And um, we luckily, we think we figured out the best way to get there, but we will see. So we've given ourselves plenty of time to get there early so that if we do mess up, it doesn't uh, make us miss our flight because we're going to Rome and I'm so excited. This is definitely the city that I'm most excited about seeing. Um, yeah, I just cannot wait. Also, Gavin wants everyone to know that he would not stay in another he easy hotel. No. Why? No, it's just, no, it's just uh, not great, man. Not good. I think, I think um, for the price, you kind of get what you pay for. Like, we had to pay 10 euros to to use a blow dryer. Um, it was like seven euros for late checkout. Um, I don't know, they only give you two towels. There's not like a face towel, just stuff like that. But really it's not that big of a deal. And if you're young or you just don't really care or you're not gonna spend a lot of time in your hotel, it's really not bad. And I will say that the bed was comfortable and the shower was good. So really those are two things that make it a lot easier when you're staying overnight somewhere. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna check out and go get some breakfast. Airbnb, look at those ceilings. And she even gave us a bottle of wine and also this book that has all sorts of information recommendations. and recommendations. And she didn't speak much English, but she was so friendly. I love it here already. It's nice and warm and it feels like home because Germany and Amsterdam were cold. It was strange because it's summertime and we were so excited and um I kind of feel like we already know that we'll be back here soon. Yeah? Oh, we'll yeah. We'll be back. There are so many things to see just on the drive in, so we're so excited to be here. And now we're going to go explore. Actually, I'll show you around the Airbnb. This was very reasonable. It was a lot more reasonable than any. Um... I wonder if I can open this. Maybe not. Anyways, it was a lot more reasonable than any hotels that I saw. These old ceilings. And then there's the bathroom. And there's me. Oh, but we're so excited. Gav is just getting on the internet and then I think we should change because it's nice and warm outside yeah. and go exploring. The wee apartment in Rome, just the wee living area, kitchen, the wee woman, not much English, but she gives a wee bottle of wine and a wee basket of candies, man. We uh, brochure of places to go and see. We kitchen and all. And TV and all. Here the bedroom and all, ground big bed. We bathroom in through the side. Great wee spot. This is the street that we're staying on. And this is the building that we're staying in. There's Gavin. It's um, Vicolo della Campanella, I think is the street. Now which way should we go? It's been this way. This is the high street right here. All right. This is so exciting. Everything's so old here. Isn't it? Jesus. 
as we were driving through there's just so many like old old buildings that look like roman buildings it's amazing hello bye let's go here it's beautiful here isn't it absolutely beautiful I think you, you don't feel jet lag is a, a short flight, you know? Yeah, well, we're not jet lag. <laughs> we are trying to find something to eat. And also, for lucky, we want to see the Trevi Fountain tonight and the Spanish Steps, which is the water over there. Um, the Vatican and St. Peter's Basilica is like right that way. So, on a day where my shoulders and knees are covered, we're gonna go back and, and see the Vatican, and that would be really cool. This is the Piazza Novona. And this is on our list of things that I wanted to see the first day. So it's really lucky we just kind of turned a couple corners and we ended up here. Sacred area of Largo, Argentina. It's crazy, crazy. Via Florida. We got gelato. Oh my god, there's Coliseum. There's Coliseum over there. And there's the Coliseum. Yep. Right there. It's so cool. Forum of Nerva. These columns are marble that would have come from modern day Turkey. And then these decorations up top are supposed to be people that the Romans conquered. These are the only two that have fully survived out of 50. That would have gone all the way around. It's really cool and bigger than I thought it would be as well. It's so crazy that we're here.
there are steps, you can't go on them.